Hello and welcome to Cannabis Talk 101, the world's number one source for everything cannabis. My name is Blue, alongside of me is the world famous Joe Grande, and you are now tuned in to the greatest cannabis show on the planet. That's right, folks. Thank you for listening to our podcast all around the world. Make sure you check out our website, CannabisTalk101.com, as we have so many great articles and blogs on the site for you to read. Plus, you got that link, of course, to go check out the Cannabis Talk magazine. Go check that out. So many great articles and blogs on there as well. And feel free to give us a call anytime, one 800 420 1980 and check out the instagram pages for all the greatest new content at cannabis talk 101 on all social media follow my brother from another mother blue at the number one christopher Wright, Hello. and you can catch me on the gram at joe grande 52 i gotta remind you guys about the bear flag group but your white label partners are known to be on time accurate new quality co-packaging They've been launching brands in California since 2015 at the Bear Flag Group. They do what they say they're going to do, which is hard in this business, but they do. Check them out online at bearflaggroup.com. On our podcast today, this is long overdue, folks. But we have the lovely lady behind two entities in the cannabis space that has quickly garnered the attention of many connoisseurs and consumers across the market today. Besides us now is Jordan Jade, award-winning recording artist, singer, songwriter, entrepreneur, Entrepreneur, but most importantly, she's our folks, you guys. Yeah. She's been putting hey. her boss on hat. She's going to put it on today, explain what she does, who she is, as she's the owner CEO of Jade Healing Co. and Jade, yeah. Jordan Jade Flowers. Jade Healing Co., you guys, is a health and wellness company dedicated to crafting only, see, even Teddy loves it, hey. only the finest <laughs> hemp CBD healing solutions and skincare products. Jordan Jade Flowers is more focused on producing THC cannabis that are hand selected and grown with love from Guava Bay in good old Los Angeles, California. Make sure you check out our website, jadehealing.co. That's J-A-D-E-H-E-A-L-I-N-G dot C-O, as well as her link tree to see everything right there, link dot tree, our link tree slash Jordan Jade Links, to gain access to all her social media platforms and music through all her favorite streaming services, you guys. Plus, she's a graduate of Cal Poly with a BA, so she knows oh, what she's talking about. She knows nice what she's doing. Nerd. She's not just a pretty girl. <laughs> She's a smarty pants as well. Without further ado, straight from the Bay Area, V-Town representing, put your hands together for Miss Jordan Jade. Uh, yee, yee, yee. The hot and sexy Bay Area. Jordan Jade. And, oh, yeah, thank hot you, and thank sexy. You. It's funny. It you know, is hot as shit in here, though. I it is a little yeah, warm. Yeah. It gets a little warmer <laughs> once you get next to these two sexy dudes it's up here, too. It's mid-August in L.A. We're so, in Jordan, you have these two companies. First off, I want to get straight into that before we yes. get into our history of how I met you because Blue, you haven't even seen what I got planned of, of this picture. I got a, I got a whole story about how I met her. Uh oh, but, a picture. Oh, yeah. I got pictures. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, approve, approve, approve no big. <laughs> Let's go right into the the company because you've been in this cannabis game for a minute. Yes, sir. You've basically from like, the Bay and really been in it, and now you have your own wellness and your your degrees in health and all this other good yep. stuff too. So you're really on top of what people need and want for their bodies as you keep yourself up doing everything properly, looking like you got good skin care. I like think so. Thank you. Well, of course. I have a, I have a I mean, skincare company. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, it's like you, you walk the talk and talk the walk. How did walk you get it, into like it? I, talk it. Walk it, like it, like it. Hey, well, I mean, so growing up in the Bay, you know, it's a big cannabis culture. Growing up in Vallejo, I started consuming cannabis um, at 15 Started selling it in high school around 16. Um, it was just part of the culture. Everyone was selling weed. It wasn't irregular, crazy criminal activity at the time. Um, and then started working at trap dispensaries, like through high school, through college. Obviously, nothing was legal at this time. Um, and then, you know, had a bunch of health positions with uh, my nutrition science degree. Worked at hospitals, did pharmaceutical sales. Uh, got fired from pharma for doing free cannabis community classes. Nice. So that's a, there's a crazy because story you behind do that. Plant before uh, medicines. Yeah, like that. I was basically on the on the plants over pills hype before it was a big slogan and big thing. I was and pharmaceutical didn't like that and fired you, huh? No, they said. Uh -uh. Isn't that a crazy <laughs> story? Big conflict of interest. She's a pharmaceutical <laughs> rep, and they fucking fired her over finding a video. That's crazy. Yeah, I did. It, it was um, actually the last one. It was in Oakland uh, in conjunction with a cannabis delivery called Smokeland. So me and a doctor and another psychologist in Smokeland did this, these free classes that were just education on CBD and THC, even like more so for seniors. And someone took a YouTube video and put on YouTube and my pharma company called me and they're like, hey, you're on YouTube saying people, you know, should 
should take plants and, and their own not health in their own hands and not listen to everything their doctor says and go more holistic. Like, yeah, you're, and you're like, well, you're and, done. And you're like, I believe in that. <laughs> like, why you but, I hey, can't believe so, in that and still sell so your product? I mean, yeah, geez. Yeah. I mean, I believe in your product, and I was too. I'm still selling weed the whole time. You feel me? Yeah. But, so, I mean, I, so, you know, I, when I started pharmaceutical sales, I was selling insulin. I have no qualms with insulin. People need that. But all day. I went to oncology because they had a, a CBD product in their pipeline to get FDA approved. It never got FDA approval. And in the meantime, they wanted me to sell fentanyl. So, you know, definitely had some issues with that. So I was like, I'm out of pharma, but I was also just getting paid stupid money, you know? So I was definitely in it for a while. You liked the money, but hated what it stood for. Yeah, you know, I couldn't, wasn't driving with the morals. So I had to dip out of that. And then after that, um, at that point, cannabis was legalized. So I went into legal sales, which was crazy. Going from selling weed my whole life. You know, everything was a felony risk, and now I'm on, like, a W-2 and a salary. And, <laughs> and pushing cannabis. And, and, and yeah, it's crazy. So it, it still kind of blows my mind just, just things like being in an airport and having weed in your purse and, you know, CCA seeing that. It's, it's like, a real thing now. <laughs> this is really legal, yeah. So I think for all the, all the old school people that really used to trap and... You know, and you used to grow. I mean, you're growing weed. I seen you with pictures on Instagram with yeah. all your plants and your babies and doing your thing. Yes, You've been doing it. I love to cultivate. I think anyone should, if you have a space to, why not? I mean, even if you don't smoke flour, you can make topicals, edibles, any infused anything. So, yeah. and I, what, I really what kind of products are you pushing on your healing department? The Jade Healing Co. What kind of products yeah, do we so have it's, there? It's hemp CBD skincare brand. Uh, brand. So it's a, there's like cleansers, creams, retinol creams, stem cell creams. Nice. Stem cells. cell creams, huh? Apple from apples, not like. Ah, oh, I was like, damn, you got stem cells. cells. Yeah, <laughs> not, not the fetal kind. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm launching um, Jordan Jade Flowers, my THC brand. So that's what I was telling you. I just had uh, some meetings with cookies yesterday. So stay tuned for uh, the cookie drops. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's great. But it's, it's uh, starting out with pre-rolls, one gram pre-rolls and eights, and we're going to expand from there. So check me out in a dispensary near you, Jordan Jade Flowers. That's That dope. gas, top shelf only. <laughs> I, I love that because you're out there hustling. And like I said, when I first yeah. met Jordan Blue, I want to show you a picture. And not only you're going to know For all real, about I this I don't picture. Know what picture Remember this oh, picture right here? Oh, yeah. Throwback. So that's the old show set. So that's how far oh, it goes back. Oh, you hear me in the back? Oh. But let me tell you where this picture was at, how full picture this is. This picture was taken oh, yeah, at Freddie Sage's spot when Too Short was there. Ah. But, how I, but how I meet Jordan is Joseph Sofio, our entertainment lawyer, is talking with her in front of the show set. <laughs> so I go over there and Joe goes, hey, Joe, you got to meet this girl named Jordan Jade. She's from the Bay. Joe knows, of course, I'm from the Bay. Right. I meet her and he goes, you guys got to take a picture. Joseph Sofio's idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, who's this hot chick? But she seems really nice. I'm going to take a couple pictures with her. We She's take, all right. Yeah, right? So we take some pictures. <laughs> And the funny thing is, I'm cool. when, yes, when you totally. delete pictures on your phone, I always kept it because I was like, man, that girl was really cool, made a great first impression. And then afterwards, I see her talking and chopping it up with shorts. She's right, he's sitting right next to her <laughs> after the show. And they're just like, folks. And I'm like, hmm, who's this fucking Jordan J girl? And you then, know what I mean? And then, so that, that's the first time I meet her. Shout out. Then, uh, let's guys- call it a year or so later, I'm at G4 Live. Oh, no way. And who do I see walking down the block Shout there <laughs> in, in, in the hallway like, coming out of the thing where you had our booth there and she comes walking and I see those big eyes. I was like, Jordan? And she goes, hey, what's up? And <laughs> hit it off. And I was like, damn, she still has a great personality. She ain't ne- like cool as shit because we meet there and she's working for whatever company you're repping out there. Is that when you guys went to dinner and, and you told me you made out? No, no, no. We didn't no, make no. Out. Actually, I think that's when we all went and partied, uh, like up at some rooftop <laughs> hotel. We was she was like, "What? Well, yeah. You were there? You were there too? Okay." So yeah, I, hey, I was trying to. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> you're there watching. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. but my point to the story is, I, that's where I meet her again, and then we hit it off, and we see each other, and then she becomes this artist, and she's performing at all kinds of shows. She's doing this show, that show, and every time I've met her and seen her always cool as shit yeah. like one Thank of those you. cool folks yeah. chick where you're like wait a minute from the jump when i met you you were nice without you know seeing you knowing you're sitting there next to folks with short and just cool people talking to our lawyer and then every single consistent time at a bar of like you know when you meet people folks and they're the hot chick and they could just be funny style 
are yeah. they're just good people. But she's the hot chick I'm who happens funny. to be good people. I'm just funny. You know what I mean? You which is me? great. <laughs> and and then being from the Bay, which made it that much more, of course, us Bay folks, we get all excited yeah. from each other. Like, I'm from the Bay, I'm from the Bay too. Hey. You know what I mean? So we get all silly with each other. And then her music, which has been something that she's been yes. following now and doing, which I've been following your music and your track. And if you can even go on her Instagram, look at the Instagram real quick, because she's got... For those who want to just, it's Jordan Jade, right? Just that Jordan Jade on yeah, IG? Yeah, J-O-U-R-D. Oh, that's the difference. And that's the other reason why I remember Ooh, her name, because I was like, you. Jordan. Yeah. Why did your parents name you fucking Jordan? Sure, because you got to be different. Is oh, it, oh, I thought you meant with the U. Jordan, uh... Did they have, did they ever tell you a reason? Like, is it, like, just to be, they're just on one and said, her name's My Jordan? My mom just wanted something different, yeah. Well, Michael Jordan was probably one of the best ever. That's what I'm saying. I was leading towards is it Michael Jordan? And then, and then my, my mom like was on just she was like French shit at the time, so she put the U in it to make it more or like more Jordan. exotic, I guess. I don't, yeah. I don't really know. <laughs> well, but everyone, like, is, uh, you know, it's my stage name, my music name, my stage name is my music artist name. I said that like it's your real name, <laughs> and it's my government name too. So people always ask me what my real name is, and I'm like Jordan Jordan's Jade. It's Jordan Jade, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is awesome to have one of those names. Like my real name is Joe Grande. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to call it JJ. Did anybody call you JJ? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, so All day. It's a whole yeah, thing. That's, yeah. It's like, well, how'd you put that one together? J-Dub, yeah. so, 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 so It's a young one. Yeah. And not only that, so you're like on your IG, I want to get to it mm-hmm. because some of these performances, some of the fun things, what's the ones that we want to show real quick, Connor? Or do you have it locked and loaded over well, here? I have a favorite performance. Let's sure. see it. Let's see what's going on. trying to get Wi-Fi back to this thing right oh, now. Oh, is the Wi-Fi uh, not I'm working on the computer? Things. We've been having some technical issues over there, which I don't understand why we had to reboot the damn computer three times a day. Just well, in addition to to all the, the the you know the natural products that you're working with. Yep. You know, you clearly have been recording music for a long time. So how long have you been working on uh, music? This is actually my second year in music. It's oh no! It's been two way. years. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What made you decide? I've always had a passion for music um, and been super into it. Obviously, growing up in Vallejo, around all the hip hop culture, I growing feel like up on I've Mac Dre, longer E40. than two years. Haven't we known each other longer than two years? Yeah, I've been in cannabis we've, we've forever. We've known her because she's been around the game. Music just started doing music yeah. oh, no But I mean, I, I got into it and started performing when I had one song out. Oh, right. So I was performing. the My first show was the Cannabis Awards. I remember the first. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, yeah so no, I, I, I didn't know that was your. I had one song out, and I was like, let's go. I'm going to run it. Up. You're like, it's time to go. Yeah. That's dope. And then, That's what I mean. She's a hustler like that. Like, first one out, and she's already performing. Have you, have you ever, have you, have you got any features? Um, like, different yeah. people on the. On yeah, the, yeah. Uh, I got the homie Neff the Pharaoh. He's from Vallejo. He's a, he's yeah, a big yeah. rapper out of he Vallejo. Was, he, he performed at uh, Bernie Trees, the Pharaoh. Neff right. the Pharaoh? Um, no, I don't think, I don't think he, he was. Did, not Neff the Pharaoh. Pharaoh, Ma- uh, Pharaoh, somebody oh, else. Pharaoh yeah. March or something somebody like that. Somebody else. Yeah, yeah, not that one, but a different one. Yeah, um, my homie Eloy Gino. He's from Berkeley. Um, and then I was just on one of my friend Dave Steezy's uh, album. Okay. Got some, oh, yeah, got she's some doing some stuff. She, she's got some emails out to work with a lot of artists. <laughs> and she told me that they haven't uh, finished their tracks. Got a, no, they got a lot of finished. connections that are, that are coming. Can't, can't say too much, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, you got to take it low key. Our, our very own but, Marty um, Grimes, maybe, too. Oh, uh, Marty Grimes, you have worked with Marty? Maybe I sent him a, I sent him a song. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, you did? Yeah, we got to jump on his ass. Like, hey, what do you mean? We have Jordan is, This Jane is all confidential. He'll be here tomorrow. He'll be here tomorrow. But no, so I've, I've always been into music and had a passion for it, like I said. And then um, when I was in college, the whole time I was in college, my boyfriend, through like five years, was in a hip-hop group. So I was always in the studio, on stage, backstage, you know, with fans, and, you know, feeling like I was one in of the, the music industry. artists, too. Yeah, and yeah. I was just like loving it, you know, and the lifestyle was like, ah, this is the shit to me. Like, I love being on stage and just, you know, creating and all of it. So that kind of got me really into it and what got me into um, producing a little bit. My first EP, I co-produced um, all the beats and I recorded everything at my house nice. in Vallejo and just my little studio That's what room. I mean, though. She's <laughs> hands-on with it all, dog. That's dope. Editing, doing, all putting it all down. Moving. It was like, whoa, you're doing all this? Okay. So, so anyways, got, got super turned on to the lifestyle with him and, um, and really wanted to take it more seriously. And then he was tragically murdered in L.A. He was... Yeah, stabbed to death, oh, like wow. o- over some jealousy shit. It was fucked up. A girl. Rest in peace, yeah. Uh, no, he was just getting money and doing hella good. And someone that I knew, uh, like carjacked him. He had, had he a brand knew? new Benz. Yeah, that knew him. His own friend. Some. I, I mean, don't know about I, a friend, yeah, but, but you know, someone that knew him was in his car, carjacked him, and stabbed him. And 
The, in that the was car. tragic. Away, Jeez, yeah. Jordan, I didn't know this story. Yeah, oh, sorry. Wow. I'm sorry for the death story. I, I, no, I, I, that's I good. I like real ones like this. No, but geez. But yeah, so I was kind of like, ah, oh, fuck music. A little yeah. traumatized. So I didn't, I didn't really I do much with music at the time back then. And then fast forward to so, so much more crazy shit. But fast forward to I was working at Apple um, in Silicon Valley, like their corporate offices, not like a retail store, um, and met... Um, audio engineers there that got me back into music. One audio engineer in specific, Pocket Honore, was like, get into it, I'll record you, we'll mix and master your songs, and like, you can do this. If you love music, do it. So I was like, fuck it, I gotta do something creative. And you know, when my ex passed, he had that as like part of his legacy. I would listen to his music and it would bring back the energy and the vibe of him. And so it is, I think anything you create, there's like a energy to it. And once you pass, that, that creation is still there and people can still resonate with it that's in that the time way so. <laughs> yeah exactly that's yeah. you talk about it lives yeah. on forever and de- yeah so i mean not to be too too deathly today but you know when i pass i hope people slap my music and they're like oh i'm that feeling jordan's up. energy like i remember these times i remember this like right. this is dope. you ever think about like you know do you still talk to his family at all or yeah uh, i actually did a show here two weeks ago i was uh, kind of one of the headliners i guess and it sold out it was the kush babes 420 barbie party and uh, his mom came through, actually, and watched me perform, so that was cool. No way. Yeah. That's dope. You know what you should do is, you know, do you have all his music? Uh, not, like, the original masters. No, but you have, like, the, the songs and yeah. stuff, right? So, you know, one of the things, was he dope? He was, he was cool. It was way more hip-hop, like, straight hip-hop. Oh, right. Yeah. It wasn't, like, like you know, um, it wasn't really like commercial. The, yeah. It was just straight like yeah. more that underground scene, like cypher, conscious, underground whatever. Yeah. 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 What was his name? Conscious, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Cali Kid. He was in a group called Public Defenders. Cali Kid? The Cali Kid, yeah. Public oh, no. Defenders was the group. <laughs> that's cool, man. What a moral story. Like, that's just deep. I didn't realize that one. That's a good one. And your music, let's get into one of your songs yeah. right now. Let's go for a break real quick. Go BB. What is this <laughs> like, one? What is like, this all song? All right, all right. Let's, let's put some happy shit on now. Yeah. Hey, so this is my latest song. So... It's, it's called Go BB. It stands for Go Bad Bitch. It's for the baddies, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know, my music is really about like being yourself, living your best life, self-empowerment, just feeling good, smoking weed, and doing what you want to do and bossing up. And so, you know, and I am like pro-female. So this is just a song for girls, for baddies, to feel good, for anyone really, to feel good. You know, and the lyrics are just about having confidence, doing what you want to do. Well, let's hear it. It's playing in the bad background. Bitch, go bad bitch. You feel me? <laughs> Hey, music video dropping soon. Turn any chick to a lesbian. Got the gift of gab, mouthpiece is a blessing. Do the most, turn up with a baddie. Curly girl, but they call me daddy. Sweet thing, wanna eat me like candy. Real ones love me, fake hoes can't stand me. I don't care, I'll do this by myself. I'm rare, nothing mid, top shelf. Do it me, not trying to be no one else. Got looks, got brains, got game, got wealth. A billion in the world, only one of me. Look at that. All wow. I want to do, baby. If you're looking for a quickie, check out hey. Quickie Pre-Rolls at quickieprerolls.com or on Instagram. Turn the in-house down a little bit. Uh, at Quickie Pre-Rolls with the three S's at the end. Everyone loves a quickie. quickie. And Jade, Jordan Jade, All I Want to Do. That was that song right there. That, you like? You know, the thing that I like about your music and I like about you is... Like, you talk about being smart, you talk about being hot, you talk about being hot from front <laughs> to back, which you are, because, like, I, that's what I, first I met you, it was cool, and then I see you out and, and about, and I was like, inside. yeah, but the inside is the best that's part the about part, you, man. in my point, that, that I've said to you, and I've told you that <laughs> you personally, guys are too much. but it's funny. <laughs> For real, though. But, but when you spit, it might like, sound corny, but it's real. No, it, you I can, you can look bad as fuck and look as good as you want on the physical, but. You're an idiot. 
Yeah, if you don't, Sometimes. if you don't have love and compassion and good energy, and you're on some fuck shit, you're trying to harm yeah. people. Then it's all bad. Then what's pretty about you? Exactly. You, you know, I, I'll tell you what, man. I, I've always seen you with a great smile on your face. You know, to be really honest, I, I, I sincerely. You're always happy, you know, you've got a good attitude towards things. Your music does sound great. I mean, you know, I, I like that first song, Thank you. the BB, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that was dope. Go you know BB. I mean? That Thank one, you. I, I, that one's a little slow for me. A little, a little more. Well, this was her singing and a little like, yeah, exactly. It's, it felt but, like but it's a great song. I, I, I know a lot of people like that style. Like it was more R&B-ish. Yeah, def def yeah, definitely more R&B. Yeah, that yeah, one was slow. Which was dope because it, was it shows a, your diversity. A, yeah, it was an Anita ba Baker sample um, produced by DJ Fresh. Nice. Out awesome. of the Bay, out of Oakland. DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, DJ wah, Fresh. Wah, wah, wah. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> He's yeah. Uh, so, what, what, like, speaking of producers, let's talk about some of the producers you've been working with. Just DJ Fresh. Uh, the first guy was uh, uh, from the Apple Store. or Oh, oh, Pocket Honor. Yeah, me and him pr uh, co-produced my whole first EP. So, my first EP, I just started making music at my house, uh, making my own beats, having him kind of add on to them, recorded myself at my house. Um, it's hard to believe you've only been recording for two years and to hear that record, right? both those records. Yeah, thank, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And, so, and so I'm not a trained vocalist, but like I said, I've dabbled in production and recording. So I've recorded myself, but I'm by no means an audio engineer. Um, so I've done pretty much everything just at my house, in-house, totally independent. And recently I've been like, you know, what? I need to expand. I need to work with other professionals. I need to start collaborating and start and uh, got linked in with this music studio in Richmond, California called The Shop Studios. And I've been recording there and it's been honestly such a blessing. It's so faster to record with other people than record with yourself. Um, and just, you it know, pushing team, me, challenge man. me, meeting other artists there. So I'm um, really grateful for that connection and that they've been able to record me. And my audio engineer there, Sound God, has been amazing. So that's dope. Yeah, it's great to have a you know a studio and just people that you respect and like working with. And where's so home cool. now? Vale I'm still in Vallejo, so born and raised in Vallejo. I own my house there. Um, I'm planning to move to LA in the next couple months, actually, but it's just a matter of renting solo? out my house. You just coming solo? Uh, maybe. Yeah. He's Either a, my owner with a roommate or you got something. a man or something? You single? Uh, that's uh, that's not for the public to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my not, business. That's your business. That's like yeah. it. Look at her. Look yeah. at her. Y'all yeah. nosy. Yeah. I she like that. Friend. She's like, I got a friend for sure. You know, yeah. <laughs> Jordan Jade, you've been in the business. Now you're in this music entertainment business. You come from this, uh, you know, the flowers though, from growing and this and that. Yeah. What made you get into that, even though, you know, you, you say it's just part of the environment in the Bay, which it felt like it always has been. But where does that love for cannabis come from? I mean, I, I'm i a patient myself, you know. I, I've, uh, you know, dealt with certain things in the past, like depression, insomnia, anxiety. So instead of taking pharmaceutical products, and this is something, again, that I preach and do public speaking on in the past, is, you know, just plant medicine over pharmaceuticals or synthetic chemicals. Um, I put enough chemicals in my body growing up in the Bay where everything was hyphy, fizz, powder, syrup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had a very uh, turned up uh, uh, high school and college years. So now, you know, I don't want to put chemicals in my body and I would rather take, you know, consume plants or plant medicine um, or a byproduct of that. I think it's healthier and more Smart. natural and, and yeah. And, Preservation. Help, helps me from Preserve. having to take a lot of Zans. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it comes great from, you know, somebody who's educated like you are with your degree in health. And then you have experience working in pharmaceutical sales and yep. seeing what these real, you know, things can do, which are very helpful for a lot of people. I mean, I take meds for my diabetes and high blood, whatever you take. People need those things as well. Absolutely. But you can't knock the whole pharmaceutical no, industry. No, not There's at all. There's a time and place for everything. If you, you know, have, a, if you get shot, you get stabbed, you absolutely need a pharmacological intervention. You yeah. know, it's going to save your life. But, you know, as far as these lifestyle conditions, um, you know, they, they're kind of a band-aid. It's a for-profit business. Yeah. You know, so they need to make money off you. So if you just, you know, keep that in mind and, you know, doctors are doctors of medicine. They're not doctors of nutrition or mental health or emotional health or all these other aspects that are part of the bigger picture of your health and wellness um, aren't taken into account. So it's just medicine. So that's why when you go to a doctor, you typically leave with a prescription because they're doctors of medicine. Yeah. That's what they're trained in. So, I mean, and, you know, I you can't, you can't hit the messenger. They're doing what they can. But, you know, you just have to understand that health is more holistic and... Uh, 
I gotta beg him for a prescription. Like, can I get a prescription, please? Okay, well, what are you trying to get? <laughs> <laughs> I need that good stuff, and then I sell it. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. <getting, laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nah, you know. Um, a lot of people do. So, how many songs have you recorded now? Um, so I <laughs> dropped my EP, my first EP last year, April 28th, on my birthday, April 28th, 2022. You know what my birthday is? April what? 27th. What? Yeah. Birthday twin? Yeah. That's we're crazy. Tours. We need a we need a joint party here. All right, let's do it. And we were talking about Too Short earlier. His is the 28th, too, so we'll get him to perform. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, you were short on the same birthday? If you guys have the budget for it, yes, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but That's anyway, so yeah, drop the Taurus. Drop my EP, Taurus. Yeah. The Bulls. The Bulls. Last year, um, and then I have a, I've been dropping just steady singles since. I've done a, a couple compilations. Um, I've done a couple features. Um, just dropped the Go BB song two weeks ago, dropping another song called Go Green. It's a weed <laughs> song in two weeks. Um, trying to drop another, trying basically dropping a single every month. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this Go BB one just it has legs, I feel like. Because like I said, I was talking to you earlier going, every time Thank I you. see you reposting folks from Instagram that post it for you, where they're geeking out, I'm, I'm like, I... Because we, we did it, I was outside, I go, look at there. I go, Jordan, I forgot to tell you, every time I hear this, this is what I do. It's such a catchy <laughs> hey. fucking tune with a great hook. And we were talking Thank earlier you. about showing something on IG and playing something. Now our internet's back up and running. What was the show that you oh, wanted to we show us? Oh, we were talking about shows. So my, well, I mean, I have a couple favorite shows. So obviously, I perform at a lot of cannabis events, um, primarily cannabis events. Like I said, I just did the Kush Babes ones. That, um, just, uh, oh, I did, just did this one last week, the Hash Hole Island. Shout out to CGO Lifestyle. That was dope. Open for Be Legit uh, and Devin the Dude, who I've done a show with before. I perform at after parties for Hall of Flowers, you know, so various cannabis events like that. But my favorite shows of all time that have been the most fun for me, there's two in particular that stick out. They, they've been both high school shows. Oh, really? One of them I opened for NLE Choppa. That was dope. Uh, it was literally just NLE Choppa, me, and one other artist. And then another what time. What high school? Do you remember what high Dublin school? Dublin High School. Nice. Out in Dublin, the good old East yeah, Bay, huh? Yeah, Dublin. They you know, because the kids, they love it. They go crazy, yeah. huh? Yeah. Oh, they went, before it lost their minds. So this is part is it, of let's part see of it. Let's see it. I didn't see this see one yet. We can't see it. <laughs> and then another high school show I opened for Soulja Boy. What? Yeah, that was fun. You were the yeah. first one ever to open for Soulja Boy. <laughs> first, first female artist. <laughs> the soldier boy's get always a clip doing the first. To you guys, uh, the, there was a cop there hitting the soldier boy when uh, dancing on stage with him. It was so funny. This, yeah, is, this a is a high is the school. Show. Yeah, it was. So it was in their football field because it was like their prom or homecoming or some shit. Yeah. Oh, this is. And lit. they let another school come, so it was like tons of kids. Yeah, it was turned up. And then I have a dancer. Shout out my dancer. I have a few girls that dance with me. So. Yeah, and that's what I love. Your stage presence always dope. Thank you. You always give so much energy when you're on stage. Thank you. I love performing. I mean, you know, I've done sales my whole life, and so it's just not really scary to be in front of people and talk to people. Um, I've done public speaking, and I just I love being on stage and sharing your energy with people and creating the vibe. And then when the, when it resonates with them and they're vibing with you and they're like, hey, hey. And you're like, hey, it's the shit to me. So it's just so fun. Yeah, there's so something really about like being it. you know performing and being live in front of people, you know, and getting their reaction for real. It's the best, you know. Yeah. What about uh, uh, Loomis? You ever work with Loomis? Not yet. Shout out my girl Loomis. I want to. Yeah, every time I see her at an event or something, I'm like, girl. Yeah, I could hook that we, up. We got to do something, something. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of difficult because I'm in the Bay, and then when I do come down, I'm always here for, like, meetings, work, so I'm in and out. I mean, I'm here, like, every week, but just in and out a couple of days. So um, I've tried to connect with her before and, and get the studio, and it's just timing, but yeah, that's something that needs to happen for sure. We, we've both definitely talked about it. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. That's always good. Now, let's go to a break real quick. But before we go, we got Bay to Central Pay. Central Pay, France. Which is crazy because you know I, I remember talking Riviera, to you Cote when you were out there. Yeah, I was just you in France a couple months ago. And I called you and you hey, picked up the call. All my lyrics are real. Nothing, nothing's cat. Every, every bar I've actually lived in this song and all songs, really. But why would I lie? Let's listen. <laughs> yeah. Because I bossed up. Because I bossed up. From the Bay to Central Pay. Cause I bossed up, cause I bossed up. I'm not at the house, I'm on the move, out the way. Ask me what I'm doing, getting money every state. Live my best life, eating lobster out in Maine. With the wine pairing, Napa Valley Chardonnay. Next stop, touchdown in France. Moulin Rouge, do a little dance. 
how I move, got him in a trance. Go anywhere, cause I make bands. Do it big, do it big. I'm not even trying. LAX, every day I'm flying. New city, new show, new vacation, new tour. Penthouse, top floor, clean coat, being poured. Take a sip, make a toast. Every day, we do the most. Run the show like a host. Name known, cause the coast. From the Bay to San Tropez, I do what I want. Miami to LA, I do what I want. New York out to Spain, I do what I want. Cause I bossed up, cause I bossed up. From the Bay to San Tropez, I do what I want. Miami to LA, I do what I want. New York out to Spain, I do what I want. Cause I bossed up, cause I bossed up. In the club out in London. Are you using professional flavors to make your edibles? Lorraine Super Strengths add bold flavors to gummies, lozenges, beverages, chocolates, and more. And with over 100 flavors to choose from, the possibilities are endless. Our bakery emulsions, both organic and traditional, are prized for their dynamic flavor, their versatility, and their flavor retention and high heat applications. If you like your infused treats frozen, our Flavor Fountain line is phenomenal for creating ice cream, gelato, frozen yogurt, and semi fredos with a kick. Use code CANNABIS20 at checkout to receive 20% off your order. That's I'ma Do Me by Jordan J, the song she wrote after we broke up. It happens, <laughs> folks, you know what I mean? I, I crush them all the time. And she told me that's what happened. The first verse was about me. Second verse was about you, Blue. Well, no, we're still and together. Then, you know, oh, you guys are still together? Yeah, well, you know, this dead. happened when I was in the base. It was a long time ago. <laughs> and, you know, now she's doing herself, which is okay. So she's going to do me, which is good. <laughs> Jordan, are, are these like real? True, true story, real like, lyrics. Yeah, where does I that come you. from? It ain't Every, about us. All but my songs, a- I actually live. Nothing is kept. I live everything. I wrote. I wrote all my songs. It's kind of strange when people perform songs they didn't write, but that's my own opinion. But uh, yeah, it's all real life. So I should have lived. That was from a crazy relationship that inspired that song. Um, yeah. But mo- but it's it's not about it, you know it's about doing you and, and feel good vibes. So like I said, the intention behind my music is you know. One, fun and feeling good and just good vibes, but also, you know, semi-motivational what to be living. like, do you, like, do yeah. what you want, like, go for it. Well, like, like the one that we up. heard going to Travel the break, the world. Beta Central Pay, which Travel was like, the world. Exactly. boss up, do you, live your best life. So, you know, that's my vibe in general in real life. I can only be me. You already know that. So that's what I, you know, kind of the, the topic and vibe of my music in general. So who are those artists that, always encourages you and looked at like especially when you're growing up where you're looking at going oh my god because then you dated a guy where you're around the scene but who are you at home singing in the shower to <laughs> so I, I mean i love all music you already know i'm a bay area hip-hop bay i know you're e40 too so. short mac dre, mac dre is my dre, favorite like, rapper of all the time mac, mac dre is the one oh really mac dre e40 but like R.I.P. Matt so you, Dre forever, I mean, you really go man. with it, then you get dizzy. You just yeah. thee, pop the yeah. collar and just go hardcore. Yeah. 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 But E-42, I love E-40 so much. I love his music. I grew up Shizzle. on it from literally elementary school. Did you just say sing it? I said for shizzle. Oh, oh for shizzle. Oh, I was like, you rapping, you mean? I mean, I've met Earl tons of times. He's super sweet. Met his wife, met his family, been in his music videos. Uh, actually, you were just I, was, in I was just in this last yeah, one. Yeah, you were just called in the one. Bay. It was it was all like the turfers and the dancers in the Bay, and I'm not a trained dancer by trade, but I love dancing, and you know I'm just super, still super duper hyphy hyphy hyphy. So hi-fi. it was only right <laughs> that I be in the video, and it was shot in Vallejo. So how great is that? Not only that, <laughs> to me, E40. I mean, I go back to his first album, Drinking Carlo Rossi. You know what I mean? Top like, of the line, Ryan Carlo Rossi. Rossi. Carlo I mean, Rossi. I was about to just, I literally was just about to say, what you know about that Carlo Rossi? Carlo I mean, and because, like, he's the, the first bus. one. I was on his tour Carlo bus Rossi. Uh, here because uh, we, sh- we shot uh, some videos here uh, for Ice Cube and uh, Butch Cassidy. And Forty was in it, and I was in the video with them all. And uh, we were on his tour bus drinking Carlos Rossi. Oh, it's yeah. the best. That's the biggest hangover ever, but I love uh, it. Oh, so horrible. Uh. Yeah, we, we were drinking that thing, man. We just pouring out that Ross. And oh, now he got that fine wine no. Earl, though. Now yeah. he's got his own liquor line. Yeah. Which is actually good. Yeah, I fucks with the Earl Steven selection. Really? Shout out I, 40 we got to get yeah. some of that over here. The, the function blend. <laughs> Uh, I was trying Mango to get Big Omizi, a sidekick <laughs> over here today. We called him earlier. Yeah, you trying know Omizi? Yeah. You know Omizi? Yeah, I do know yeah. Omizi. Yeah. And I was actually, uh, I mean, speaking of E40, uh, open for Be Legit. And was just in a Be Legit video, too, just because it was at whoever was in his studio at the time. was there. But, but um, yeah, just shout out to Sick With It family in general. The Sick With It family. Which is good because, like, for you being that Bay Area artist, but in my opinion about Jordan Jade, yes. you have such a mass appeal look. 
Thank you. You look Latin, Persian, what are white, you? Mexican. Racially ambiguous. You yeah. know what I mean? You, got, you have She's all everything. these no, I'm looks. Actually, I'm, a, I'm Caucasian. I'm mostly German. German, English, Swedish, a little Italian. But most people think I'm Middle Eastern. Those big um, eyes. You know what I mean? You have which, big, beautiful which I'm eyes. I'm so flattered by It's a compliment to me. I think Middle Eastern women are, are beautiful. So uh, exotic white, to yeah. answer your question. That, that's, <laughs> you feel what a tan. Hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, and you can tan, too, because you're that. Yeah, that's a good one to call you, exotic white. Saucy white. That's I don't saucy, know. Yeah. That, or I'll call it bay white, because <laughs> there ain't too many from Vallejo yeah, sitting there. Or, or Latina. My stepdad is half Mexican. He's from Acapulco. So sometimes I get that, too. And I'm like, no, but got family in Mexico. Yeah. Shout out Max Cow. Yeah. Cartel. So you so were you singing Mac Dre then in the shower? Is that the is that what you were really doing growing up? <laughs> Are those the So I, I mean I listen to all music really. Uh I love I love eighties, seventies throwback music. All the feel-good music. Well, you sampled Anita Baker, for God's sake. Right, sakes. yeah. That so, love, making, yeah. love making music. <laughs> yeah, or just feel-good music, yeah. you know? Like Earth, Wind & Fire, just all the jams, good That's energy, high-vibe type yeah. shit that just makes you move, makes you smile. It's not about anything crazy or sad or depressing. Nowadays, all the music's about... Drugs. About apps. Like, <laughs> right. Ain't nobody got time for that. And yeah. <laughs> I find it crazy that like a lot of rap songs are like that new show on Netflix, you know, the take you pill. Like how many pills and stuff can I get loaded off of and then rap about it? Or let me get so loaded off everything and then rap about what I just did. Man, well, it's, it's, and then for females, it's it's all just the, the whole shit, really. It's just so, like whoever can be most ratchet is the most popular, which, which kind of sucks cause nowadays in the music industry. And, you know, like I said, I'm still new to it, so I'm still learning. And there's been a lot of fuck shit and a lot of learning lessons. Yeah. People think, oh, you're a female. It must be all easy. No, you get finessed. You get overcharged. Yeah, you, you get, get overcharged You get bullshitted. <laughs> so I've been through a lot. I mean, it's still fun, but there's also been a lot of frustrating, you know, waves of emotion with it. And I think that comes with any creative endeavor. That sure. you're trying to monetize, especially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know, have you have you started doing like uh, like a lot of uh, like skits for Instagram, social media, and stuff like that? Are you are you following all that? I stuff mean, or? so not not really like the skits, like using voiceovers or other people's voices. But I, I mean, I kind of just use mine as a as a music marketing tool more than anything right. lately. More more so than cannabis promo and marketing um, or any stuff like that. It's just more like hey. This is my single coming out. This is the video coming out. This is my next show. I mean, I've been doing so many shows lately. So it's a show, a recap video, next song, next video, a show, a recap video, next song, next video. It's damn near like what every post has been because it's just been, you oh, know, something something every week going on damn near. So yeah. just trying to say, stay consistent that drive with from? everything. Your dad or your mom? Um, uh, shit, I mean, both, but I say my mom for sure. I come from a family of just like super independent, hardworking women. Uh, my mom is the VP of a, a title company, and she started as a rep and worked there for 20 years. Uh, Chicago Title, so she does oh, title big insurance. Company. Yeah, so now she's the VP. So you know, she's she's a hustler, worked her all the way. My grandma's a hustler. It's just kind of on us. And then you know, back to Vallejo Bay Area culture. It's it's there's a lot of hustle culture, and I was always taught to never have just one source of income. You know, yeah, yeah. it was always have multiple sources of income, multiple hustles, and. You know, That's why selling weed was such a good thing for you, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. And how did you get into selling weed? Um, was it boyfriend at time? Somebody just randomly said, or you just, just realized I mean, everyone it's around you in Vallejo, let me get it, into the game? It was just everywhere. My stepbrother was doing it, so I saw him doing it. All my boyfriends all sold weed and other things, you know what I mean? But, so, you know, it was just seeing other people okay so you know i just need to get a scale weigh it out know your measurements <laughs> it's easy <laughs> yeah know the markups <laughs> do a little math is there, uh, is there any upcoming shows coming recently um my next one um is actually it's not till october 6th it's in oakland with los rocas i don't know if you've ever heard of them they're a latin duo um they're Panamanian, but they're they were um, Grammy nominated. They're super big in the Bay and, and in Latin America, so I'm opening for them. What do, uh, do you know? What the name of the show is? Like, is it like a? It's a it's a club show, so I'm not oh, sure it's an what venue. Club. At a, yeah, okay, dope. yeah, in that's Oakland. what's up. Yeah, I I have a lot of travel coming up the next couple months, so I I don't have too many shows over the next two months just because I'm literally out of the country. Oh really? Where Which are you I headed? uh Tahiti. Nice. Yeah, Going on vacation. Must be nice. Yeah, to, <laughs> Tahiti for two weeks and then 
possibly back to Europe. We'll see. Maybe back to France. Okay. But if I do, I'm going to do a show out there for sure. Yeah. And then, like I said, I'm trying to make the move to L.A. So I've kind of put shows on a hold for the next two months just, you know, to handle everything and get a bunch more music done. Uh, I mean, too. I think you could hop on a tour pretty easy, you know, just with those those records. You just got the right. Yeah, the thank right, you. And I you love know, performing. Right yeah, yeah. And I've, I've done a ton of different shows, ton of different venues. Like I said, from high schools, cannabis events. I've performed at strip clubs. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's dope. Tons that's of a, hey, there's a built in audience at our strip oh, club. Sure. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> that's smart. It yeah. was awesome. It was, it was actually at Cheetahs in Hollywood and Crayshaw and Rock and uh, Wiz Khalifa were both there that night. So it was super dope. <laughs> that's really Shout dope. Shout out Cheetahs. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. You never know who's going to be in the club at that, those type yeah, of things. Yeah, nightclubs are fun. People are already drunk and turned up, you know, yeah. but there's nothing like a music festival. That's what I can't wait to really do is is another festival. When are you guys having another Burning Trees? We're actually going to, uh, April... When, when's the next, when's our next a festival? A <laughs> April 6th, April 6th, we're going to be doing okay. the Lit and Loud tour. Okay. Yeah. We were trying I'm to ready. get you on stage at Burning Trees. You know, I was calling you that about it. We were trying to get you there. Uh, and we, but you know, hopefully the next one will get you at the the next one. It should be good. Joe, Joe made the decision not to make. I said nope. We have to cut her. There's too many artists on. <laughs> it's either Buster Rhymes or Jordan Jade, and we then like, we went with we Buster, Buster Rhymes. So. Buster. You next missed time. out. You missed out. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, she could do something with Queen Herbie though. Yeah, I. You know, it's funny. Is I, I, I just sent. To. I just Love sent Jedi Nick. Nick her shit or just today. Today uh, I said, hey, you. I want to put somebody on your radar. I go, this is somebody who could open up for her, maybe. You know what I mean? Because I, I, her show. They got a show coming three up. Three sold out shows in LA. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They, they picked a And my day last LA show is sold out. So. That's what's up. Sounds like a match. Yeah. Sounds like a good <laughs> I would, match. I would love that. I'm, I'm so open to collabing and just working with other artists and learning everything I can right now. And Jordan, how yeah. is the Bay react? <laughs> how is the Bay? My dog is barking <laughs> because he's such a funny cat. My dog, Teddy. Teddy's a show dog. It's just. People, you need to come to the office and see what I'm talking about. He's a clown. Um, how does the Bay respond to you? Because sometimes Bay Area artists, it gets that good love, and right? sometimes the, the, it doesn't. The, because the Bay got some haters. Yeah, you got to, like, yeah. break somewhere else. Just like L.A. folks. I mean, and, and I don't I care if you're rapping in Atlanta, same thing. Hey, shout out to my haters. I'm not even tripping off that. I mean, what, what's the saying? If they don't, if you if you get hate, you ain't popping. If you don't, yeah, if you don't if you have people hating on you, you're not yeah, doing not something doing right, something. right? Okay, so multiple hater sayings, but that's yeah. you know that just comes with it. Anyone yeah. on pursuing a passion project that's creative and you know in that space in entertainment, of course you're gonna be scrutinized and it's gonna be hate comments and messages. Everybody could do and, it better. Ah, you shouldn't do this. Ah, I wouldn't do this. Ah. But I mean, it's, these are strangers leaving hater comments. I'm not concerned. Like. I've never, I've never in my life been so moved and triggered to leave a hate comment on a stranger's post. Like, <laughs> if, the, if that's how you're feeling in life, like, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not worried about your comment. It's like, it's okay. Like, There's a couple of things <laughs> in life that are you. puzzling to me, Jordan. <laughs> that one is, and you know what else is? People who make viruses for computers. Yeah. Like, why do you wow. do that for people just to have a shit computer now? Like, but, hey, how do you it, get off on I that? I can't even turn my screens on right now. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, really? So, you got a virus? That's okay. on that it's note, a virus, hey, the screens won't turn on. It's like, who gets off on so, that? I mean, there's always haters. But if someone hits me with con some constructive criticism, I'll take that all day because I want to learn. I'm always, I always want to learn. We are talking about this. All I want to do is learn. Uh, I'm oh, always ready to earlier, improve right. and progress and be better. You can always be better. Everyone can always, there's always another level. Even the most professionals in their game, there's always another level to reach. So I'm always willing to learn. And, you know, take critiques and listen to opinions if they're, you know, constructive from someone who is experienced and actually has the intention of, you know, like, hey, this is a real suggestion. To help, might, yeah. Like, yeah. But if you're just like, I don't like your shit, it sucks. Like, yeah, you're just on some Thank bullshit. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how I know you listen. Have some more. Yeah, exactly. yeah, I'm loving your soul, man. I'm right? glad you listened. Yeah, thank you for such a nice yeah. soul. Yeah. Got nothing positive to say or no constructive Take care, criticism. Friend. <laughs> yeah. So That's how do you find the balance, Jordan? I mean, you're you know running some companies, doing this cannabis line and this and that, and then still you know pushing the music, new EP every month. Like, do you find it? Is it getting hard yet? Is it just so there is no balance? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm to even get you here today was a crazy like yeah. last minute. Like, oh my god. I am nonstop exhausted. Don't play. <laughs> but no, I mean, my social life is my work, yeah. right? So I don't really hang, I don't have time to hang out and just 
sit around and watch TV and do nothing for the most part. I really don't. So, you know, my social life is my network and my business. I love how you know, you say my that. cannabis people, people my music that. people, the people I record with at the studio, those those are my friends too. So, you know, the people that I work with and it just kind of unfortunately because my life is so fast paced and there's so much going on and my I have my hands in multiple areas, it's it's just kinda how it has to be if you wanna be involved in my life and you want a relationship or friendship or whatever it is. You kind there kind of has to be some synergy. Otherwise, you yeah. may be in the way or very distracting from my time, and I'm very focused right now, and that's just what it is. And so, you know, sometimes social um, relationships and friendships have to be sacrificed as far as time because I'm pretty much on a mission right now. Like I said, it's year two of music, but I'm I'm really serious about it now that I kind of found my flow, found a studio, and comfortable and having the you know a ball doing shows I'm, I'm really ready to rock and going all in and and you know just down to do whatever so this is i'm going for it now and focus so you know it's it's just if you not have synergy in cannabis or entertainment or music it's just going to be difficult for us to see each other physically ever well, yeah. <laughs> you, have to be, physically. you have to be on the same mission yeah. i love your hustle folks jordan jade artist look her up on all music Please. it's j-o-u-r-d-a-n-j-a-d-e also jordan healing Co. Jordan is the jade. company hey, jordan <laughs> jade flowers coming to a dispensary near you soon we like to do yes. the high five jordan with all the guests that come in the studio i think you said it was 15 but how old are you the first time you smoked cannabis and where did you get it from 15. Uh, I don't remember who I got it from, honestly. I think just like friends. Like a friend. Yeah, just a friend at school. Question number 15, two. 15. Smoked at school. At school. Yeah. Question we were turned up at school. We were on. Yeah. Diz, yeah. Yeah, little kid. <laughs> yeah. Drinking beer, everything. Yeah, yeah. Selling, selling weed and uh, fizzles out my locker in high school. <laughs> Vallejo <laughs> High? Uh, I actually went to Benicia High. My parents oh, were Benicia, divorced, okay. so they wanted me to go to Benicia because it was the nicer school. It was. Question yeah. number two of the <laughs> high five. What is your favorite way to use or smoke cannabis? Um, I'm a flower girl, and I have a backwood addiction, unfortunately. Ah. So I'm a big backwood burner. Backwood. I will take a grappa or a loose leaf. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll still hit a joint or a dab. I do love edibles. I make them. You know, I make infused everything with So you what cook I too, huh? Yeah, oh, I have a nutrition shit. science degree. Of okay, course I cook. I cook okay. everything. And she's Miss Healthy over there. Miss Healthy yeah. for us. Hey, they, they got Cane's tonight? Fried Chicken, and I went and got an acai bowl. I was like, ah, uh, nah. Are you kidding, Jordy? You ate two chicken wings. Okay. I, I, I was like, I'm going to get something healthy, but uh, Don't hurt let me, your let back me get front. one on wing. <laughs> let me get at least one of them fried yeah. things. Okay, there's a bunch of them here. Let me get let me, one piece. Let me just try a little Ten bit of them. them. Let me get some <laughs> sauce right there. Question number three of the high five with Jordan Jade. Craziest place you ever used or smoked cannabis? Craziest place. She. I mean, I smoke. I smoke everywhere in public, like it's legal. Always. <laughs> I've always smoked <laughs> like it's legal. So um, probably just somewhere like ridiculously public. Probably like in front of cops or something. Oh, like going through a DUI and then not realizing it's a DUI checkpoint, being like, oh shit, gotta put this out. That's a crazy place to smoke. That is fucking crazy, actually. <laughs> a DUI oh, yeah. checkpoint. Oh, yeah. Like, we're a checkpoint right that now. That was outlandish, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. We've never heard that yeah, one. That's and a, that's um, a real one. Just smoked in silly places, like in an elevator on the strip in Vegas, going to, like, yeah. you know, just doing dumb shit. We knew a guy that uh, uh, smoked on oh, a cruise ship. Oh, an airplane. <laughs> I, I smoked on my last cruise ship, for sure. That, that's, that's regular. That's regular. That's a regular <laughs> sesh. Those guys that smoke on hey, bus. Hey, I, 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 I did Beachy set off. A, a plane alarm before hitting a vape too many no, times you did in the not. bathroom. Yeah. yeah, and I was tripping because I was on probation at the time. Ooh, that's another story for another time. Did they take you down? No, I was. You know what? The <laughs> flight was delayed like five different times. It was leaving Miami, Miami to San Francisco, and everyone, everyone was irritated. I mean, there was no AC, so everyone's just hot in the plane, sweating in, in Miami. Miami. Yeah. So I go in the bathroom and I'm hitting the vape, which I've done many a time in the bathroom. Never set the alarm off, but I'm just sitting there. Taking the time. Cutting off, hitting it, and then boo, boo, boo. And I was like, oh, oh shit. shit. Go, yeah. like, walk straight You wanted to, to flush my yourself seat, down the Straight to my seat and like sat right down, straight face, just. I didn't And they're like, ma'am, ma'am, did you set the alarm off? I was like, no, it was technical difficulty or something. I don't know. What's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, I don't what know are you what's talking going. about? Yeah. yeah. With what? They're yeah. like, you won't get in trouble. You just have to tell us. Yeah, right. I was like, Please. Well, I heard that shit before. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> That wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't me. Question number four of the high five. What is your go-to munchie after you get high? 
an acai bowl. God damn it, acai bowl. I was gonna say something fruity, honestly, <laughs> some fruity like juice, a smoothie, fresh fruit, because it's hydrating. You know, it has the water in it. That's just fire. Yeah. Health, it actually health helps is the wealth high too. too. You guys, quit catting on yourself. Eat healthy. That's right. I like you, Jordan. I always love it. <laughs> I like I you too. Jordan. I like Question you, Joe. number five of the high <laughs> You're five. All right with me. Miss Jordan Jade, my friend, my compadre. If you could smoke cannabis with anyone, dead or alive, dead or alive, and who would it be and why? Mac Dre. Mac Dre. Oh, that was so quick and simple. Hey. <laughs> Did you ever meet him? You know what? That's that's the thing that's so sad. I've literally met like every Bay artist that Bay Area artist that I listen to and that I love. I've met everyone. I met the Jacka, R.I.P. the Jack. Uh, like everyone, Black C, you're just in his video. I just like shout out RBL Posse, RBL Posse, but Mac Dre, no. And I think it was just because I was so young that I wasn't, you know, oh, it was crazy. But I would have met him by now. Like, if he was alive, I thousand percent would have met him. Ain't no way, met E40, every every, everyone else except Mac Dre. So, thousand percent, and MD. Who did did, uh, Mac Dre always used to perform with? I mean, a bunch of different people. Uh, Mac Mall, who I've also Mac met. Mall, yeah, yeah, shout out Mac Mall. No, there was another um, dude that he was always Doobie, on. Doobie, PSD. Funk, no, not a funk, Doobie. Uh, I forgot who it was, but it was... Andre Nicotina. Andre Nicotina. Yeah, hey, I've met Andre Nicotina. You know. I've met and spoke with him. He's at cool. Yeah, I was I was uh, supposed to do a show with Mac Dre right before he passed. Oh, my god! And then he passed, and then the whole crew came out and still did the show, which was dope, because we thought it was all going to get canceled. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, um, you know, I'm a recording artist. No. Did you know Blue was... I, I don't think you knew this. No. Blue used to be Pause. signed... He was one of the first Latin artists to sign with Death Row Records. Bro, what? His music... You, we got to play some of his music. That's right? crazy. Matter of fact, pull up one of his music now. Let's <laughs> play it on the podcast. <laughs> I finally... We don't do oh, this enough. Man. Why we you need never to play told me? one of Blue's songs uh, on the podcast, but now we got to pull it up from the do other computer up. that we do can do. Wake it. up. Is it on that computer? I don't think it's uh, on that yeah, computer. We'll play it next time. Oh, we'll play it for you after the show. You never told me. You know what's funny is all... Well, I don't think we ever told you. I don't think I ever we've been talking about it randomly. Def- Joe you. and I got the death row chain. Compliments of me. Wow. <laughs> Not I mean, really. Joe learned yeah, his exactly. own way. I, you know? my, I was like, but it well. was a little different, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, was, it was funny because Joe manifested it, though, for sure. And and I knew by, why both reasons. Like, I knew your reason yeah. and my reasons. Yeah. I'm like, dog, we both have legitimate reasons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't like... I was on one coattail, not two of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and and yeah. and you're on one like, of mine. Yeah, yeah. So it was like we, yeah. we both rode each other's coattails to get them. Because yeah. you know we both have history with with Death Row. Because I've done a lot of stuff with them in the past, and he was signed uh-huh. with them for God's sakes. But we, I literally have my Death Row chain here today, which yeah. is ironic. I didn't bring. He told me to bring. <laughs> or we're doing a photo shoot later. So. I literally had it in my hand this morning. I didn't grab it. And I was like, ah, I forgot I don't to about fucking it. call you. Tell us like, dude, bring your chain. Let's let's rock the chains in a photo shoot. I almost brought it. Bring the ice. It's always eyes. fun to just have these <laughs> nice things. I can't wait to get my Jordan Jade chain when she pops Hell and it's yeah. all big. I'll be like, like that. Joe, guess what? Right. Here's your I Jared and Jade. I you down, OG. It's well, it's funny, dude, because... Double J is going back. Here it is, Lou. I got to yeah, tell JJ, you. Yeah, like, JJ, like, like the Gigi, like the Gucci symbol. Yeah. For those that see, me and this young lady have had deep conversations. When I say deep conversations, because I had my ankle surgery, and I remember just randomly going through my ankle surgery and having long conversations with you outside when I was hurt and I was laid up and we had deep random conversations that yeah. I've like left field, but like deep. And then, and this is like right when she was about to become an artist, but we were already folks before she was an artist. So I met her as a person before then she becomes the artist. And I'm like, dude, I like your style. Like you have a lot of check marks that you could become something. And then like seeing her music now and I go, dude, now you found your lane. Like, this is yeah, your I, lane I, right here. And even at the beginning, I was the one first to tell you, like, I don't know, Jordan, this music, it's cool, but I don't think well, it's your lane so, yet. So this is what the progression has been. So when I started doing music, you know, I just wanted to do, like, cannabis music, like, like cool, just vibey, lo-fi, chill shit to smoke to, kick, kick back to. So it was super mellow, super, like, down And it was cool, and it's cool. And, but it was just vibey, lo-fi shit. That's what I wanted. And then I did two songs like that, and then I started performing. And I was like, oh, no, I need more up-tempo shit. I want people to move and dance and, like, move And feel move your with energy, me. that yeah, good, positive so I, energy that you bring. Yeah, right. So I started doing more up-tempo songs. So literally each of my songs gets, like, 10 BPMs higher, and it, they, they slowly start to go up and, and progress. And so your it lyrics boss with, up, like, because now you're this boss well, bitch well, now. It, it kind of like, got more woo! real. I just got more comfortable being totally myself with it instead of just trying to be more commercial and mainstream. I was like, let me just really say how i feel yeah, yeah. And, and it came out facts. so this easy so quick 
Well, yeah. it's like it's like a lot of my music when I when I was recording. You know, I did the the Fuck You Pay Me album, and it was all about selling weed. You know, and I, and I I didn't even like unconsciously I wasn't writing music because I was selling weed. It was just but it's what you know. But when what you, you listen to it, you know, it's like you know talk a lot of shit. You know, Fuck You Pay Me. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? All, you know, it was like but that was your you life. Move at the a time. lot of weight, dog. Fuck You Pay Me. You know what I'm saying? You, you move a whole lot of weight, dog. Fuck You Pay Me. You know what I mean? It's just like but you go back and even though you change and I love people don't know this story about. Blue, the reason why he changed it because he's seen how it was influencing the culture going yeah. I don't want to influence the culture yeah. that way I want to do a party vibe and yeah. that's when he went from that to Imperial Assassin uh, Imperial Stars and yeah. changed his whole moral value because it's like okay which is you know some my people lane. do that that's yeah lane. that's yeah. who you really are yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying for me like I said yeah what you say Jed it's just it got to a point where it's just like I knew my influence was it was deep you know and what I was doing to people and I could watch how the crowd reacted and what they would say and then, what is that, Tony just having a full fucking conversation? <laughs> no, everybody hey, just Tony, <laughs> Tony, you want to join? Show, your show's not, not you wanna today. Jo- you want to join the show today, or you want to, you know what I mean? I don't know, I mean, just lower your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, fuck, people, this time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're in the middle of a show, bro. Thanks, He's Tony. Nice. Yeah. So anything else? Do a rap Jay? song diss record about Tony yes, right now. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Tony so, over man, there. So yeah, that's the progression. Went from just lo-fi, uh, smoking shit, to I want to do something more up-tempo, to I want something that people can dance or move to at least a little bit. And then, you know, all my initial songs were singing, which I do love singing, but then I started doing the rapping. And I like both, so I want to do a fusion of both, continue to do a fusion of, of rapping and singing. But man, rapping is so He's literally like singing you have to do multiple layers you sit you record it record it again record it again do some harmonies might have to add some more harmony you know it's, it's many vocal tracks and with rapping i oh and you can't smoke or i can't it'll it'll make my voice so scratchy when i'm singing with the rap song i'm smoking in the boat booth record it all the way through one time run it back sounds great that's good yeah. we, we get we're done. <laughs> so, we're done so it's it's such a different process and i'm not saying it's funner because it's easier but it definitely is a it's it's easier yeah. <laughs> for you. It's easier. Yeah, yeah. And just more room for creativity that way for me. Well, listen. Is there anything else before we let you go that you want to say uh, to your fans, people out there, to our uh, listeners? Anything else? First of all, thank you so much to you guys for having me on. I super appreciate it, and yeah. I'm so grateful for the opportunity and you know any any platform. So I appreciate the love yeah, and support. You. And if you guys don't know me yet or don't know my music yet, please check me out. Support it. Hit me up fuck with me dm me uh, you can always reach me i got more music coming out more shows on the way my next song is called got green coming out in two weeks my vi- music video for go bb is dropping in about a week so it's always something new are we coming invited out. to the video shoot or it's already it's already, already shot uh, what happened uh where was it shot at where were you in sun valley in oh valley. so out here i <laughs> yeah. didn't realize it was shot out here i just had to ask that before i could really give her the fuck with Steve jordan guy. hey fuck with jordan you know she's got it <laughs> you know i got it no hey, she's gonna do I some do stuff here though, though. Yeah, she's gonna she's like gonna shoot a video game. here on the campus she's yeah, gotta do some stuff sure. here just and a show here we're gonna do all kinds of stuff i mean hella shit yeah a lot of things popping a lot of shit on the way my thc brand joined jade flowers and dispensary soon Shadow Cookies. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. More to come. <laughs> and yeah, just follow me. Check me out. More to come. A lot of big collabs coming. As soon as I moved to LA, I got a bunch of dope shit and opportunities. So I'm excited. It's just up from here and more popping shit and bigger shit. So Fantastic. I'm excited for you guys. Keep to be being part of the, the beautiful journey. person that you are because Thank you're you. so yeah, nice you. inside and <laughs> it's great genuine outside. as fuck, too. It's it is. I don't care what Connor it. was saying about oh, you earlier. God. He was like, this I, fucking I really girl. Care. And Daniel was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, you guys, she's really nice. <laughs> she's a nice girl. And her best I mean, I mean, hold up. Don't fuck with me, though. No, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us, Jordan. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Always. Appreciate you guys. Well, there it is, guys. It's Cannabis Talk 101. And remember this, if no one else loves you, we do. do.